This lesson is on multiplying mixed fractions. We'll start with an example. We want to evaluate 3 and 1 quarter times 2 and 2 thirds. First, we'll represent these two values using two number lines. Then, to show multiplication, we'll set them up in terms of a grid. We'll use the two number lines to be like the length and width for a rectangle and our goal is to find the area of this rectangle. We'll start by multiplying 2 times 3, the two whole numbers, and we will get 6 unit squares represented in blue. Next, we'll figure out our thirds. These are represented by the green rectangles. We have six one-thirds. We'll do our one-quarters. We divide the squares into quarters, and this time we have two one-quarters. Finally, in the lower right-hand corner, we have a square divided up into 12 little rectangles, and each little rectangle would represent one-twelfth. So we have two one-twelfths. Now we'll add up all these rectangles and squares to determine our area. We have six ones, six one-thirds, two quarters, and two one-twelfths. We'll multiply first, following order of operations. Six times one is six. Six times one-third gives us six-thirds. 2 times a quarter gives us 2 quarters, and 2 times 1 twelfth gives us 2 twelfths. We can reduce fractions. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 quarters is the same as 1 half, and 2 twelfths, if we divide the top and bottom by 2, is the same as 1 sixth. We add our two whole numbers together. And for the other fractions, we need a common denominator. They have to be like fractions in order to add them. We change the 1 half to 3 6 by multiplying the top and bottom of the fraction by 3. Now we can add our two fractions together. 3 6 and 1 6 give us 4 6. So we have an answer of 8 and 4 6. The fraction can be divided top and bottom by 2, which gives us a final answer of 8 and 2 thirds. Let's go through the steps of how to multiply mixed fractions without using the model. The first thing we need to do is take 3 and 1 quarter and 2 and 2 thirds and make them into improper fractions. The mixed fraction is the whole number added to the fraction. To add two fractions again, we need a common denominator. Three ones is the same as 12 quarters. 12 quarters and one quarter is 13 quarters. Now, you may remember the shortcut way to do this. We take the whole number, multiply it to the denominator, and then add the numerator. That becomes our new numerator over four. Let's try the shortcut way on 2 and 2 thirds. We'll multiply the whole number to the denominator, so 2 times 3, and then add the numerator to come up with 8. And that will give us 8 thirds. We've converted both mixed fractions to improper fractions. The next step, we will multiply these improper fractions. To multiply fractions together, all you need to do is multiply the two numerators together and the two denominators together. So we'll have 13 times 8 over 4 times 3. Finally, in the last step, we try to reduce if possible. You can reduce at the end of the question, but you'll find that it is much easier if you can reduce during this step. Notice that 8 on top in the numerator and 4 in the denominator can both be divided by 4, leaving us with 2 on top, 1 on the bottom. Now we can complete our multiplication. 
So 13 times 2 gives us 26 as our new numerator, and 1 times 3 gives us 3 as our new denominator. Our answer is 26 thirds, so we can write this as a mixed fraction of 8 and 2 thirds. The same answer we got using our model.